quick video to remind you how we solve problems with variables on both sides. So we are going to use our don't call me after midnight. <clears throat> For most of these problems, you should just need these three steps if those three. We will not be distributing and we will not be combining on both sides. We will just be moving the variable to one side, adding or subtracting the number, and then multiplying or dividing by the number in front. So for this first example, I have R's on both sides, so I need to move that variable. Remember when you cross the equal sign, you change the signs. And then when I move six, it changes signs, so it becomes a negative. Seven minus six is one. I have a number outside of the R, so I will need to add or subtract. In this case, I will subtract and I will get negative six. And then R is by itself, so I do not need to do anything further to that problem. <clears throat> For the next problem, I have X's on both sides, so I need to move them to the same side. <clears throat> So I'm going to move 4x by making it the opposite so that it cancels. Remember, if it is not the opposite, it will not cancel. So negative 4 to move it, I need a positive 4 so that it will cancel. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So negative 1 plus 4 is 3. Next step, outside of 3x, I have a 1, so I will move it through the opposite. 1 minus 1 cancels. 13 minus 1 is 12. And then I will divide everything by that number in front. 3 divided by 3 cancels. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And that's all we are doing for week 9, task 2.